In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AGF plus Cl2. This is silver fluoride and this is chlorine gas. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. So I can see I have one fluorine here and two here. So I think I'll put a two in front of the AGF. Now I have two silvers here and just one here. So I'm going to put a two here, fixes the silvers, two chlorines, two chlorines. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the states for each substance. So chlorine, that's going to be a gas. Cl2 is a gas. F2, that's a gas. Just something you need to be able to recognize there. For AGF and AGCl, silver compounds are often insoluble. So I want to check this on a solubility table. So I come down here. This is silver right here. We'll look at AGF first. Here's the fluoride ion. So we go up and over, and that S that means AGF is soluble. It's going to dissolve in water and it's going to dissociate into its ions. For AGCl though, we see we have I. It's insoluble. So it's not going to dissolve. It's going to stay together. It's going to be a solid. So we have AGF is aqueous. It's dissolved in water. AGCl, that's a solid. Let's go back to our equation. So we said AGF, that's going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. And then AGCl, that'll be a solid. It's insoluble. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So I'm assuming here that we're bubbling Cl2 through AGF. And because of that, we'll split this up into the ions. Silver's always one plus, the fluoride ions always one minus. Gases we don't split up, solids we don't split up, and then here's another gas. So the only thing we can split apart is this AGF. So we have two silver ions, and that's going to be aqueous, that's dissolved in our liquid, plus we have the fluoride ion, two of those, this two applies to everything. Then we don't split the Cl2 up, that's a gas, so we'll just Cl2 gas. Those are the reactants for the products, we're not going to split the solid up, 2AgCl, silver chloride, solid, plus our F2 gas, we don't split gases up. So there we have it, this is the complete ionic equation here. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. The thing is, there's nothing on both sides that is the same. Everything is different. So the net ionic equation and the complete ionic equation, they're the same thing. So this is both the net ionic equation and the complete ionic equation for AGF plus Cl2. Note, we're assuming that this was an aqueous solution where we are bubbling the chlorine gas through to make the reaction take place. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AGF silver fluoride plus Cl2 chlorine gas. Thanks for watching.